guys and happy Monday it's Tiff back again and today I had this artist that popped up on my Pinterest feed that I totally fell in love with their work um, Dominic Fortin um, of Quebec and um, I was so inspired by how she um, I don't know if she really draws the images or she does some collage work I'm not really sure we're gonna collage today um, I like to just write some words um, and kind of set the intention for the page. If you can hear my dog snoring in the background, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for that. Because Sadie snores as loud as a grown person. So, excuse that. We've got to make use of the time we have this morning. So, I'm going in and I'm just gluing down this image um, from a magazine. And I'm going to put that down on the page. I will reference on um, my iPad periodically just taking a look at some of her work. Um, this is an inspired page, not necessarily a copy of one of her um, um, paintings. I know she has a lot of work that she does on canvas and for sale. Um, but this is just kind of inspired by that. So, I'm going in directly, and you know I typically do not apply gesso to the entire page, and I typically don't use a paintbrush, but today, I'm going to do that. Um, I do want, one of the things that kind of stood out in one of the pieces, whenever you're looking at Pinterest and someone inspires your work, um, pick out some of the key characteristics that you really like. One of the key characteristics in um, Dominic, or Dominique, I'm not sure exactly how she pronounces her name, is that she uses, um, her faces are typically very, very light, um, and her palette um, has pops of color, and then some of the other ones have very muted backgrounds. So, I'm going in here with the Golden's um, Ochre yellow ochre which is just a beautiful tone and I'm going to go in with the golden's titanium white and before I applied that I thought hold up I might want to put some clear gesso directly over this uh, page before I start um, painting on it so that's what I'm going to do is I'm just taking some clear gesso here and I'm just going over this um, magazine image and the reason you want to do that is because um, it kind of creates some tooth and ground to be able to start layering um, up the area now this girl actually doesn't end up looking anything like herself when I get through and what I want you to think about is maybe you don't love or have time to draw a face this is a great way to incorporate faces and kind of make them your own um, without having to sacrifice hours or tons of time to be able to uh, do a face. So because the highlights and the shading is already done for you, I'm just going in strictly with a, um, I think this is like a flat angle brush here. It looks all new and stuff because somebody gave it to me. <laughs> and I've, uh, I'm going to try to, eh, yeah, it's not going to last very long. But I'm just going in here and I'm creating some of the lips, kind of modifying that. I lost the under her chin shadow. And then she looked, looked just like she had a double chin or something. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just using a mechanical pencil. Um, you could use whatever you have on hand. You don't have to be fancy. You know I'm not about fancy. Um, and then go in with the blending stomp. And it's going to kind of um, allow some of those shadows and things um, that you may have covered up. And as you see, because I glued it down, it had that white border. Because in the magazine, she just, you know, it was mostly just her face. And so, it kind of cut off that part of her hair. So, we're going to add that to it. Another thing that I noticed in um, Dominique's work is the fact that she does most of her um, faces that she does. They have white, white faces. Um, and then they have really dark hair. So I decided to take, she had hair that was kind of covering her mouth and face right there. And it was a little distracting to my face, to me when I was looking in the camera as I was filming this. And so I just kind of covered up her hair because guess what? It's our art. We can do that. You don't have to keep those magazine images 
just exactly the way they are. This is just kind of a starting point for you and for me to be able to kind of jumpstart a face. So, um, I really enjoyed this process. I did feel like the, um, the yellow was a little bold. Um, it was kind of distracting and pulling my eye toward it opposed to toward her. And really for this page, I wanted her to stand out um, and kind of uh, pop off the page. So I'm going in here with the black Stabilo Woody pencil. I love these things. You can activate them with water as I'm doing here. You can use them as like a um, kind of like an oil pastel because they will move kind of like a... Um, Oh, the oil pastels that I've tried before, you can kind of move them around. And then I'm just going in with black because, again, I want it to be very contrasting off of the white page. And I want her to kind of stand out and stand apart from the page that she has. So I will go ahead and tell you, about right here, my heart began to panic. Like, holy mother this is working past the ugly people. You just have to stick with it. You just have to stay there, stay in the moment, keep moving. If you don't like it, recognize what you don't like and go back and rework that. Um, I did use um, the Distress Paints. I never use or very seldom do I ever use red. And I wanted to, this was about trying something new, right? This is about stretching the limits. So I wanted to do something and use something that I typically don't use. And I also love that in Dominic's work, a lot of times she has very bold like pops against all of the kind of um, whited out backgrounds. So I decided red would be perfect for that. And so, at the, in here in a minute, you're gonna, I'm going to realize that this red distress paint wasn't red enough. It was more like a brick red. And I wanted like a bold, in-your-face, stand-out um, type of red. So, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add a different red in a minute. But, as you see, you know, when you're working and you're doing your art and it's inspired by someone else, still stay true to who you are and still um, just use some of the, I guess, some of the things that stand out to you. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So, um, I'm going to just dry this really good. And it's going to take a minute because we did got we do have layers, and I'm just using a um, embossing gun or a craft gun or something like that. You can use a blow dryer if you don't have one, um, or you know what, <laughs> you could just white let it air dry. But y'all know I can't. I, yeah, I'm trying to move on. So I'm going in here now, guys, with the golden's uh, red, and I it's really going to pop with the bright bold red now. So I was excited about that. And I will say if you are doing a face or you're doing something in your journal and you're not sure exactly like where you're at, I take a lot of pictures with my phone and I know I talked about that in videos before. Take pictures with your phone because you can see things that you can't see with your naked eye like just looking directly especially if you're filming something it's hard to be able to not get your head in the in the camera and be able to yeah it, it's it's not easy it's not easy at all and then I'm just gonna go in here and um, add some parts that may have got covered up with the white And just adding and creating some of those shadows again. And holy mother of pearl. I just wiped that red right on there. Y'all, I'm a train wreck. <laughs> but I worked past it. I didn't freak out. I just took a deep breath. I grabbed my little baby wipe. And I just kept moving forward. So, I still felt like that, um, that yellow um, 
ochre was just too too um too much for me too much for this page so i went in and i whited it out as you can see and now i'm coming back and i've tried something and it didn't work i took a um, nail file um you could use like um uh sandpaper that's the word i'm trying to think of you could use sandpaper here too i wanted kind of to scratch back and bring some of that um yellow goldeny color back up but it just didn't work so oh well keep moving forward scratch that i cut out a butterfly and one of the other things that i noticed is dominic has a lot of butterflies um collaged in her work and i y'all know i'm a fan of butterflies so i cut out a butterfly that i thought would be good and originally i thought about collaging them around like dominic does but then i thought no tiffany i'm gonna do a tiffany move and i'm going to cover that mouth with the butterfly because it's fun and then guys all i'm gonna do is do some messy journaling over to the side and add a little text i hope that this has inspired you to try something new and push your limits make sure that you hit the subscribe button leave me a comment and come check me out over on instagram um i'd love it if you'd share your work my work and my videos with your friends and family and tell them what a cool chick i am over here at southern gals designs until next time guys toodaloo